Here's a wild tool story. So I, I can't remember what city it was, but we were on stage performing. We walk out, sometimes they have the, the bass you know, cabinets on the front of the stage. We walk out, there's a hole between the bass cabinets. We're performing, doing our thing. Halfway through the show, me and Scale have this routine where I kind of lean on him and we kind of go back and forth. Well, he steps through the hole, so he goes falling through the hole. Then I go right behind him, like we're scabbing down at a plane. I fall through the hole right behind him. We end up both on our backs rapping. I get up like, what the hell happened? There wasn't that many people there, so everybody saw it. And we kind of like laughed it off. And they're like, man, y'all crazy. So I get back on stage. I grab Clutch by the back of his shirt collar and his belt loop. I just throw him off the stage because he was laughing. So at this point, everybody thinks we just out here playing, but actually, we actually failed pretty hard and had to play it off, but busting our ass together in unison. Everybody thinking, you know, that was part of the show. One of my craziest, wildest tour stories definitely um, when I relapsed and started back drinking. And I can laugh about it now. Something just triggered me and I just started drinking like 12 shots of Jack Daniels after two years of not drinking. And I went to the club to see Talib Kweli perform at the House of Blues in LA. Drunk some gin, like I'm just drinking, like something was wrong. I'm in the show, we watching the show. I think he brought Common out. And I just found myself trying to climb on stage from the front of the stage. And if you ever been to the House of Blues in LA, you know it's, it's high, I'm 6'5", and I had to climb up. That's like the longest pull-up I ever did in my life. Trying to get on stage from the front end while Talib is rapping. And he know us, so he's cool. You know, he look at us. I don't know what he's thinking. He's rapping, and I'm climbing up the front of the stage. And I finally make it. I'm drunk as hell. Put my arms around Talib while he's rapping. Like, it's the worst nightmare you could ever have as a recovering alcoholic. Crazy part, my partner Clutch, you know, he got so, he look out for us so much, but instead of looking out for me, his way of helping me was coming on stage and making a fool out of himself too. And that's what the funny part was like, he come on the other stage, other side of the stage, and just waving his hands during Ty Lil's set. I got my arms around Ty Lil while he's rapping. You know, but at the end of the night, Ty Lil was like, I understand, you know, it happens, it's cool. His scales relapsed. And so we made it through the night. I got carried home down Sunset Boulevard. Like all of the, the extra stuff is like, it's so much extra stuff they can throw you off, you know what I mean? Like, like every day, you know what I mean? Like, it's all about your decisions. Like you make the right decisions, you're gonna get somewhere. All musicians, all moguls are, are role models. and. Definitely, especially musicians, because we speak the most. Actors, you know what they do. They go in and be fake every day. You, your goal is to be fake every day. Not fake at heart, but you're just being something. You're playing a role. It's really kind of a tribute for my mother, too. You dig what I'm saying? I told her story in the title track, Malta Beer. And it's just all about ambition and motivation from where I grew up and where I come from. We're going to make something out of nothing. We're going to go hard. Uh, we ain't going to make no excuses. What Ever cards that we dealt, we're gonna make the best out of it. So I'm like, what kind of issue we got? That's my bad, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't got no kind of issue. She said, oh, yeah, we got issues, sir. You got a gun in your bag. I said, a gun? 